When we solve inequalities, the process and strategies used are the same as for equations for the most part. We use inverse operations to isolate the variable on one side of the inequality. The exception is when there are negative coefficients, then we have to treat an inequality different than we would an equation. To understand why this is true, let's look at this simple inequality, 4 is less than 8. 4 is in fact less than 8, this is a true statement. If I were to add any number to both sides of that inequality, let's say 11, the resulting inequality statement would still be true. And I, when I added 11, now I have 15 and 19. 15 is still less than 19. If I were to subtract any number, let's say I subtracted 5, negative 1 is still less than 3. If I were to multiply both, both numbers by a positive number, let's say 3, 12 is still less than 24. However, if I were to instead multiply both sides of the, of the inequality by a negative number, let's say for example negative 5, let's look at what happens. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20, 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. So this statement, 4 is less than 8, when I multiply both sides by negative 5, the inequality is no longer true. Negative 20 is not less than negative 40. Similarly, if I were to divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, for example, negative 2, 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2, 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4, negative 2 is not less than negative 4. So when I multiplied or divided by a negative number, that made my inequality statement not true. This is because things are a little different in terms of what is considered large or small on the opposite side, on the negative side of um, the number line. So whereas 2 is a small number and a million is a big number, so 2 is less than a million, negative 2 is greater than a million. So when I multiply or divide by a negative number, positive becomes negative, negative becomes positive. So I move to the other side of the number line and what's considered large versus small changes. What this means is when you are solving inequalities, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, then you must flip the inequality sign. This is because you are going to make change the sign of the numbers involved, of the values involved. Multiplying or dividing by a negative takes you from negative to positive or positive to negative, and that flips the direction of the inequality. Let's look at this example. Negative 2x plus 5 is less than or equal to 11. When I solve this, I use inverse operations just like with an equation. Subtracting 5 from both sides, I have negative 2x is less than or equal to 6. Inverse operations, I divide by negative 2. I have an x and a negative 3. This step right here is where the difference comes in. When I divide by a negative, I have to flip my inequality. So minus 5 minus 5 divided by negative 2 divided by negative 2, just like an equation, but only when I multiply or divide by a negative, I flip the inequality. I went from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Let's look at this one. Inverse operations, minus 3, minus 3. I have negative 9 is less than or equal to negative x. Negative x, I need a positive x, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Dividing by a negative, I'm going to have to flip my inequality. So negative 9 divided by negative 1 is positive 9. So now rather than a less than or equal to sign, I have a greater than or equal to sign. I am not circling this because I need to rewrite my solution as x is less than or equal to 9. I need to rewrite my inequality so that the variable's on the left. That's going to allow me when I'm graphing my solution set to graph it correctly. This one's a great check of your understanding. It involves negative numbers. 
I have 5x is less than negative 10. So there's a negative number involved. Divide by 5, divide by 5. I have x is less than negative 2. And there's no flipping involved in this, in solving this inequality. Lots of times students start to get confused and they think anytime there's a negative involved, they should flip. Nope, the only time there's a flip is a multiplication or division by a negative number. This particular inequality with variables on both sides can be solved without having a negative coefficient. That will happen if I move the smaller variable term. So minus 3x minus 3x, I have 4 is less than 4x plus 8. Subtracting 8 from both sides, I have negative 4 is less than 4x. And then dividing by 4, I have my solution negative 1 is less than x, or x is greater than negative 1. Maybe shouldn't have tried to fit that all there. So there was no flip here. Subtracting 3x, that's not multiplying or dividing by a negative. Subtracting 8, that's not multiplying or dividing by a negative. Dividing by 4, that's not multiplying or dividing by a negative. So we maintain less than, less than, less than, less than. Negative 1 is less than x. This is not, we don't like to call this a flip. We like to keep the flip reserved for multiplication or division by a negative. This is just rewriting the same expression, negative one is less than x as the equivalent expression, x, not expression, inequality. Negative one is less than x as the equivalent inequality x is greater than negative one. If I would have solved this inequality by subtracting 7x from both sides. I could do that, it's not wrong. I'd have negative 4x plus 4 is less than 8. Subtra oops, subtracting ah, less than 8, subtracting 4 from both sides, I have negative 4x is less than 4. Now, if I did it this way, so I have a negative coefficient, now I would need to flip and I would have x is greater than negative one. I personally would maybe choose this strategy even though it involves a negative, even though it involves flipping, even though it's not my suggested strategy of moving the smaller variable term, because I really like to have my variable already on the left-hand side without having to rewrite it. For me, that's a, a big cause of error. So I, this is completely fine, moving the seven x and then realizing you need to flip just notice you get the same solution either way.